Hey, what is going on everybody? My name is Zach and welcome back to another Red Dead Redemption 2 video. This is my first official video here on the channel today. As you can see, we got Arthur Morgan looking awesome with his mustache here. Next to Dutch Vanderland, the rivals right here. In today's video, guys, I'm going to be showing you everything that you can do inside of the camp once you complete Chapter 1. All right, because you guys are stuck in the snowy mountains for a little bit before you come here and you have your awesome campsite. So we're going to be walking through everything that you can do here, everything that you can find, and everything you need to know about the Vanderland campsite at Overlook Horseshoe right now. So let's jump into this. First, we're going to check out Arthur's quarters. All right, this is where Arthur can go. One of the options you could do is you can actually shave. So if you hold down triangle or Y, you can go to shave. And you could trim his beard and mustache. I chinned his, or I trimmed his chin and his chops, but I can also trim his mustache. And as you can see right there, we're at a beard length of four out of ten. You can only go shorter. You can't grow it out longer. You just need to wait for that to progress. So there's ten different stages. So you can't, I guess, grow a Santa Claus beard after all. But we can make him clean shaven if we want to. And we can also pomade his hair. His hair is already done for me. And Arthur can get dirty over time. So you definitely want to wash his clothes. Now, in his quarters as well, he has some cool stuff you can examine. For one, he has a photo. It's of his mom. It's actually really sweet that he has this. You can also flip it over to the other side, and it says Beatrice Morgan, Spring Rocks, 1870. Now, there's a couple other pieces here on these tables and on these chests that you can examine. So you can examine a photograph, you can examine a compendium. And this is actually, I haven't looked at this one before. There's nothing on the back. It's just a blank picture frame. I'm assuming maybe that's his mom when she was younger or like his ex-wife or something like that. I don't know. I haven't gone through this story yet. I don't know what's going on here. And then there's a few other scraps of paper you can read. First bank robbery scrap. Look at this. Brazen bank robbery. Three men saw it. And you can read through the whole thing. There's so many different pieces of text you can read. It's absolutely amazing. So moving on, you can also come to the bed and you can choose to sleep if you'd like. Now, it's not like GTA and the original Red Dead Redemption where you could sleep for just six hours and that was about it. You can actually choose what time of day. So you can go to noon, evening, night. There's also morning. You can go to dusk. I mean, there's so many different options here that you could actually choose. So if we want to, we can do that. And then you can also inspect this area. So if you inspect, you could check out his horseshoes here and you can kind of go side to side and check and everything out. This is Arthur's dog. This is Arthur's dad, Lyle Morgan, wanted for larceny of December 7th, 1874. You can also come to this chest to actually change clothing. Now, there are so many options, and we're going to touch on this in a different video here, but there's so many options you could do for Arthur Morgan. If you guys want to see that video, just let me know. Next up, we're going to move over here. This is the tithing box for the gang campsite. You are required... Or you're not necessarily required, but the game wants you to donate and contribute to this box here at Horseshoe Overlook. Sorry, not Overlook, Horseshoe. Horseshoe Overlook. And you can either give different items or give money. In this case, I'm going to choose to give money, and I'm just going to give... I'm going to give 15 cents. Now, you can give a lot more. I donated $20 before, but I don't want to get rid of my cash just now. But I'm going to choose to give... 15 cents into this bucket now if you choose not to like give any money you may not get certain quests for the game and whatnot so it's recommended you actually come here and donate money and contribute to the gang campsite now we're going to move on to another spot right here this is coming up this is where pearson operates his pretty much headquarters i don't know where he is right now he should be here um, a lot of these markers are grayed out, so we can't really do stuff. But basically, you can come here to craft certain upgrades, and we're going to get into crafting in other videos as well. Ah, oh, here's Pearson. Nice for you. Hello, buddy. So you can do different things. You can craft different items for your satchel, and there's so many different crafting upgrades. You can also donate to him. Now, I did this before as well. Uh, before this, you can donate a prime beef joint. This is just something I cooked out in the wild. I'm going to donate another one to the camp. I already donated two now, so you can give it into here. Other gang members can actually use the food. You want, you also want to save some food for yourself as well when you're outside. So you definitely don't want to give everything away to Pearson like I did. But you can if you want to. Now over here is something I don't necessarily know. I haven't had this unlocked yet. It's like a little health thing. I don't necessarily know what the use is. There's a photograph here you can examine. And that's about it. Now this is someone else's campsite right here. Someone else's tent. You could sit down if you'd like. You don't have to. Now if we come over here... We can see, we can eat, we can do whatever we want here. This is also a Pearson stuff. 
There's some other cool little boxes and everything you could check out. You can actually take some beer bottles here. I'm going to take one right now. I wonder if I can consume it on the spot, and it looks like I can. So I'm going to drink it. That's awesome. I am going to drink some beer. Nice. And then Arthur just throws it. Honestly, Red Dead Redemption 2 is like a littering simulator. It's kind of funny. Uh, this is where Pearson actually just makes different stews and things like that. It says the stew is currently being prepared. Check back later. If you come over to this side of the camp, we have my horse here. Basically, you want to hitch your horse here. You can technically ride the horse around here if you want. But the gang campsite is kind of used as a place you should be walking around. You can't really run through here. You, you Actually, you can't equip weapons at all. You can only equip different tonics and whatnot, and different things like that. So I'm going to go ahead and hitch my horse again real fast. You also can't run with the horse through here. You can only go at like a really slight gallop, and that's about it. So you can't run through here expecting to like run people over and causing a ruckus and whatnot. You can also take part in different activities. And this is what I think is pretty cool. You can play dominoes here if you'd like. I want to get one of these videos out soon. Basically, I saw, I think it was Lenny kind of sitting here. We were hanging out. I was going to play dominoes with him. But if you'd like, you can just sit down at this table, wait for other people to come around and choose to play dominoes. If you'd like, this is a way for you to earn money. This is a way for other people around the campsite to earn money, things like that. Can huh. I ask you a favor? It, if it's convenient, I mean. Sure. If you're out on your adventures and you see any herbs for seasoning, would you mind grabbing them for me? Seasoning? Yes. Don't tell Mr. Pearson. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'll see what I can do. So she just asked me to do something. And this is the coolest thing about the gang campsite. Members of the gang will come up to you and ask you for different quests and item requests. Like, for this example, companions will sometimes ask for help retrieving an item, find and return it to them in a camp for a reward. So you guys get rewarded for different activities you do around the camp. Like I said, the more money you donate, the more items you donate, the better rewards you get. You can also completely customize this camp over here. You can see everyone's horses around here. And these are the wagons used to travel around the camp. So you can pick up different hay bales. There are different activities just like this. For example, picking up hay bales. You can also um, chop wood. I chopped wood before, but I'm going to move a hay bale pretty much over to here. And it's going to be used to most likely feed the horses, I'm assuming. But let's walk it over. And now once you come to the proper place, you can just hold the button and you can place the hay bale. You can sit on it and do different things like that. Now there are some missions you can take part in around the camp right now. I don't want to do them just yet, but I want to bring you guys back over here. And now we are back at Arthur Morgan's little tent here with his stagecoach, with his carriage. It's really awesome. The things you could do around here, it's not just like simply a place where you go to save the game. There's different activities you could do. Like I said, these guys are getting ready to play some games. And the funny thing is, this is Dutch Vanderland's tent here at night. I kid you not, on stream I walked in here. He was in here with a woman, and I was just hanging around, standing here. I tried talking to the woman. He actually kicked me out. I went from being outside here, and then like a cut to a shot looking like this way of the tent, and I got kicked out of the tent. So you know what they were doing. They were getting down to business here. I want to see if he could play this as well. I'm not too sure. It doesn't look like I can play it. But if you wait around in the campsite long enough or you come back here at different times of day, you can hear the actual um, record player playing. This is like a very old vintage style one. But it's really awesome what you can do around here. Now, if you guys want an orientation of where exactly we are on the map, I'll show you right now. I don't have the whole map opened up, but as you can see, you could zoom out. I did a fair amount of exploring on live stream. We were able to check this whole place out. We went down to St. Denis or Saint Denis or... Saint Denis, whatever you guys want to call it. There are missions spread across throughout here. There's also Valentine up here, which I want to show you guys some cool things about in future videos. Just let me know down in the comments if you guys want to see them. At the beginning of the game, when you guys start out, you guys are going to be up here. And so you're just going to make your way down here to this campsite. And this is Horseshoe Overlook. Like I said, there's so many different activities to do. Just as like a quick recap, you can get health supplies here. Strauss's wagon is used to store the camp's medical supplies. Any camp member is free to take items from this wagon. If supplies are low, this may lower the morale of the camp, so it is in everyone's best interest to keep the wagon well stocked. You can hand over your tonics and different dead eye tonics, your health tonics, your stamina tonics, all those things. You can hand it into the health supplies here. You can also come to the butcher, which is Pearson. Pearson is the camp butcher and leather worker. Any hunted game should be brought to him to work with. Meat will be stored in his chuck wagon to be used in soups. 
fine skins and bones will be kept for crafting camp furnishings and satchels and all other animal parts will be donated to the camp's funds. You can also come here to provisions. Pearson's wagon is used to store the camp's food supplies. Any camp member is free to take items from this wagon. If supplies are low, this may lower the morale of the camp, so it is in everyone's best interest to keep the wagon well stocked. Once again, we can come over here to donate to camp or the tithing box. This box is set up by Dutch for camp members to donate towards a communal fund. Trinkets and cash are donated here and will be used to improve the quality of life for everyone in the camp. Strauss keeps a ledger by the box which contains records of all donations as well as notes on potential purchases that could be beneficial. Coming over here, you can see your horse and some missions. Then we have dominoes. If camp members need to unwind, they'll often play games of dominoes. And then we come here to Arthur Morgan's area. Arthur's lodging is used to store camp ammunition supplies. Any camp member is free to take items from this wagon. If supplies are low, this may lower the morale of the camp, so it is in everyone's best interest, again, to keep the wagon well stocked. Basically, the whole gang besides yourself are working towards this so we can keep this gang and this campsite running smoothly. Everyone needs to pitch in. Everyone's going to pitch in donating food. And if you wait long enough, like I donated some money here, and I was like, well, I don't want to be the only one donating. If you wait around here long enough, people will come over to this box and insert money or different items that they find same with Pearson if anyone is a hunter in the game they'll come over and actually hand over items to Pearson as well just like they will take ammo out of Arthur's tent and Arthur's wagon over here. So like I said, guys, this is pretty much a whole campsite walkthrough. This is everything you can find at the gang campsite. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys enjoyed Arthur Morgan's mustache right here. I have so many more videos to come out on this game. It is literally only day one, and it's 4.35 in the morning. We have so much to cover. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys did enjoy this video and found it informational just for you guys to get started on this game, definitely smack that like button. Let's see if we can get 750 likes, as well as if you guys are new to the channel, please feel free to subscribe and definitely follow me on Twitter my hazardous HDTV it's literally right below the face cam I want to thank you guys so much for watching I hope you guys all have a fantastic day and I'll see you guys in the next video adios amigos